What's going on everybody? Um, today I wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about playing Pokemon TCG in Tabletop Simulator and as well as setting up and loading some of the mods that make it really, really good. So first, uh, if you go to your library and you can load up Tabletop Simulator and go to the Community Hub here. Steam does change this sometimes, so you're just looking for the Community tab and then go to Workshop for that game. Now you can go to Browse, um, but what we're going to do is type in Rami King. He has a really good mod he's put together, this Pokemon TCG. Currently it's updated to Rebel Clash. Uh, does a really good job uploading um, all of the sets and organizing everything and giving you all the tools you need. There's markers, there's coins, there's playmats, there's settings for uh, six people. Some of the damage tokens, he's got kind of old and new style damage tokens, energy markers, um, tool markers, and that kind of stuff, GX markers. <laughs> So to to add this to your list of mods in Tabletop Simulator that you can actually load, you have to click the subscribe button here. I'm already subscribed, but when you click that, it will say, uh, it will put the check mark there and show that you have that one subscribed. Um, so also, I'm going to go ahead and do my mod, which loads in... Um, Darkness of Blaze cards and some other cards as well, some staples and stuff. So it's point blank, um, not showing up right. You can do um, Pokemon Darkness Blaze, and it will be this one here. It shows uh, some of the Darkness of Blaze cards there. And currently this is what it looks like, but it can change from time to time as I'm doing updates. Just make sure you're subscribed to that one and you're good to go. All right, now once you head over to Tabletop Simulator, um, just, just create a game. You can create a multiplayer game. I'm gonna go single player for now. And what you wanna do is go to the workshop and load in the, uh, the Rami King. Uh, Pokemon TCG mod and then once that loads there are some tablets that he's placed in the game with some websites loaded uh, one is pokemoncards.com uh, and Pokemon uh, which has the rules I'm going to like not I'm going to choose to not open those but you can open those if you want so you have all of the cards all the the blocks up here sword and shield Sun and Moon, so on and so forth. And then there's energy uh, cards in there as well. Uh, these are going to be all high quality um, scans of cards, um, which I don't find it necessary on 1080p anyway. Um, you can get rid of those, but um, to go through and look at the, the cards for each set, you just right click and go to search and you'll get a box. Uh, he actually uses the pre-release kit uh, box art for the sets, and you can pull out one of these boxes and search that box, and you'll get the theme decks for that set, as well as the actual set of cards. And you can pull out as many of these as you want, so you'll get stacks for each are uh, stacks of the, the whole set, every card in the set. And to find specific cards, again, you just right click, go to search, and pull out cards you want. Uh, he's got all, pretty much all the arts that I've seen, they're all in here, so cool. Um, you can delete any that you don't want. You just hit backspace or delete, it will delete when you hover and right click. And I think you can delete this way. Also, if you right click anything, if you go to the right click menu and hover, um, it will give you in brackets what the shortcut hotkey is. So to shuffle, it is R. Um, you have 
options here as well to clone this and make a copy. See, there's hotkeys that pop up. Um, if you if you go to grab one of these decks to move it, you will just grab one card to move the entire deck or stack. You long press, you click and hold, and the deck will lift up, and then you can move the whole deck. Click and drag to select all of the cards there. Um, one thing I think that you'll probably want, as you know here, there's only one of each of these cards. So if you're building Zamazenta deck, you'll want to uh, copy, so Control C, and then paste. If you right click out in the open, it gives you the option to paste, which is Control V, which is the same hotkeys you get with pretty much any software. As you can see, get another Zamazenta or Zashin. And you can control V, paste another one. You have three, there's four. Then now you can hover like this professor's research, control C, and then paste one, two, three. Now I have a playset of professors, and there's a playset of the Marnies. And you can, this is how you can build your deck. So uh, once you put your deck together, you'll want to, you can kind of highlight all of these. And if you hit G, um, I think if you right click, yeah, it's group. And that will group everything together. Hit G. And it, you'll notice if you go to search, the cards are not in any kind of random or shuffled order. They'll just be thrown in the way you had them set out. And so right click and shuffle, which is R. You'll see, shuffle them. Uh, when you're shuffling, you'll probably want to have the deck actually flipped over. So you can right click and go to flip, which is F. So you can say F, F. That will flip your deck over or any cards. And then you'll want to do your shuffling. So let's see here. Uh, one uh, Another important thing on this side, we have more of the tokens and play mats. So we'll search through the play mats. And I like to set up kind of the PTCGO kind of default look is a blue one. Uh, you'll want to drag it onto one of these play areas here. These dots are snap points. Uh, and then there's a red one. And you can hover and hit L to lock. So these cannot be moved. So you can Play with your cards there. That one moved somehow. Okay, there you go. You can put your cards on there and shuffle and move things around and your boards won't get moved out of the way. Your play mats won't move. Um, the big thing is, let's see here, let's look for grab tokens. I'll search the tokens. I'll grab damage token out of there. That's how I usually set up to play. Get all the damage tokens, uh, GX, poison, burn. Uh, you're pretty well set to go there. And then grab dice. So you search and get these custom dice, or the Elite Trainer Box dice. The custom ones are kind of like the metal dice from TC Evolutions, or Evolutions, I think it is. Um, and then you can do a search. There's the die. Um, but we want uh, a random uh, roll die here. So I will go to a search on this. Grab the Rebel Clash. It does help if you if you're if you have a search window open uh, to close that one before doing another search. I've ran into some problems that not showing everything in there. So um, now we have this die for rolling for heads or tails. We have our tokens. Um, there is, I know a lot of people actually uh, want want one of these for play, at the, for legal and everything, which is pretty interesting. There's a portable chess clock over here. So you can use that. You can actually move it into your play space if you wish to have it. And I would usually kind of stuff over here. Have your deck set out here and you're good to go. Um, one thing I will say about 
rolling a die like this, you can just like throw it and let it roll across. That gets a little messy. You just highlight it and you hit R a few times. It will give you a good random in that spot and it won't roll all over the table. So just a little tip there. So now what I want to do is go ahead and save this game with all of my stuff set up. Go to um, menu. Oh. Games, save and load, and then we just create a save game. Name this um, what you want. So, be tabletop simulator uh, demo video. Save that. Uh, cancel. That it will be saved. And we will want to do is. I'm going to load from the workshop my Darkness and Blaze testing mod and load that up. And you'll see I have I have this mat here that you can use if uh, this satisfies everything you need. But I need, basically I need all these cards here, which is all the Darkness of Blaze, Pokemon. Um, actually, I just want, I just want these. So what I'm going to do is highlight them and highlight this one as well. Right click and say save, save object. It's this little key here. Save object, call it darkness, blaze, on. Save it and I will go back to games, load, load my test video one back up, click that, hit, let's load in, can, objects up at the top, saved objects, and drag this out here, and boom, we have all of our cards, and you can do this with all of those cards, are just a few like I did. I just wanted the Pokemon. So in my in my mod, I've made there's a playset of Crobats. There's actually go to this. You can see a four four line of Eternatus V and V Max. Got the four Vicavolt, Charizard, um, Santa Scorch, and Salamence. So you can pick these or any of the other ones. I did include some other Darkness of Blaze cards. Um, so yeah, there, there's everything you really need to start with your testing. Um, I'll get into detail if you want to import cards in the future, um, because this is just ready for darkness ablaze. You might be able to search, um, at the time that you're looking to test for the, the upcoming set and see if anybody's put those out. Uh, it might be something that I try to do in the future keep up with so that we have something to test with. Um, yeah, I think that's all. If you guys have any other questions, um, I'll be making a few more videos, um, some instructional videos. But if you have any detailed questions you need answered, uh, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video.